let's me take you to the bt room today yes that is the bow thruster room it will be fun and knowledgeable right for today so come on join in so here we start by closing this watertight door which should be kept at sea closed at all times and uh, this keeps up the water tightness healthy the place where i'm walking in is called as you know if you know you just put it in comments that you already knew this is the under deck passage and also technically called as the torsion box of the vessel as the paper cup experiment that we, we know uh, in which we drink the tea the if paper cup is folded from top its strength become high and it reduces the racking and uh, torsional effects so likewise we have this uh, extra strengthened torsion box in container ship and uh, this provides for walkway passage uh, for passage of uh, many many pipelines as you can see here are water water pipelines uh, co2 pipelines ballast fuel and firefighting and what not and uh, the switchboard that you see over here is for the cargo hold fans and also it uh, the terminal and junction boxes provide over here for the reefer containers yes this is a mega ship uh, for reefer containers or we can carry more than 1500 reefers for that we have auxiliary engines which are more than 4500 kilowatts of power four pieces big g big deal yeah so So here we reach our first checkpoint this is the remote operation valve for the emergency fire pump yes the emergency fire pump is located in the bt room that is the outside of the machinery spaces and uh, this is the remote operation of the valve which can be operated either via hydraulically uh, you can connect the hydraulic pump over here and you can operate the valve open and close or and also with this hand wheel you can operate and access the valve without going inside the actual bt room then uh, we go further one thing uh, as a cadet or as a junior you must uh, keep in mind that uh, whenever you are going to such uh, isolated spaces two prerequisites that you need to follow uh, inform bridge if you are coming from engine room uh, inform engine room and bridge as well that you are approaching bt room and it will be much safer if you take somebody along with you because this is the isolated point farthest point from the engine room or the accommodation and we have to go really deep down you can see just now it has a warning sign 6600 voltage high voltage yes uh, we are operating 6.6 .6 kilo volt on this ship and uh, that is why we have to be safe we have to use ppe before entering such spaces always ask yourself one question did you switch on the ventilation here's our second checkpoint the gravity tank of the bow thruster and uh, here uh, you can check the level that it should be in the green zone always as you are aware that gravity tank provides for any shortfall in the system oil uh, because of gravity the oil will be always kept filled and uh, no air bubbles will be coming in, in the system so we have to be sure that uh, the gravity tank is filled uh, always and uh, now i am going down to the next level and the important thing over here that you have to remember is to use minimum three point contact while going down or climbing the ladder three point contact means either two of your hands and one of your leg and two of your legs and one of your hand at least three point contact should always be there while you are climbing the ladder or going down the ladder so now we have reached uh, this gratings and this below this grating you can see the magnificent 3000 kilowatt 6.6 .6 kilovolt bow thruster motor of course i'm doing a voiceover on this video otherwise you would have heard the magnificent sounds coming from the uh, waves hitting the uh, bow of the vessel and also the blower running in 
here some instructions are given uh, for the overboard of the bow thruster room if you have some bilges uh, over here you can use this overboard valve and you can discharge the bilges you see the construction of the overboard line this is uh, you have a flap outside this overboard valve so this is not like that uh, this line is going completely directly outside you have flaps uh, so that the due to water pressure these flaps remain closed uh, when the line is not in use so here we go down and uh, now you can start to see this uh, bow thruster motor this is a three phase induction motor i will uh, show you the details and here are the stay bolts you see uh, this is for holding the motor in place and also for transferring the vibration to the hull these are the blowers and uh, these blowers provide for the ventilation and uh, outside air for the appropriate cycle changes so that you get fresh air when you are here so before entering always remember to switch it on So here we have the arrangement for hydraulic oil cooling and uh, circulation. This hydraulic oil circulates to the bow thruster motor gear arrangement and also it comes here to the cooler and uh, gets cooled down. So this is the cooler inlet and outlet valves. Uh, the, over here you can see the pressure reducing valve for the system and uh, the alarm and buzzer system. You see this is the hydraulic motor, it generates the high pressure and uh, these pipelines go directly into the bow thruster gear tunnel, inlet, outlet, uh, going inside the gear tunnel and uh, there the pitch is generated whenever you give command for the pitch. Now, due to this hydraulic oil, you get the pitch and uh, the blades turn. When the blades turn, it generates the thrust. Starboard side and port side. Over here, point to be noted is that we have only one thruster blade. And uh, this is the pitch indicator, which is go if you are traveling uh, port or you are traveling starboard, it will give you the indication similar to a rudder. And, uh, here is the greasing point for the motor, the terminal box, burning cable and uh, let me know what a burning cable is. And uh, here sunk, most of the equipment you see uh, is Chinese because this is a Chinese built 2016 model and uh, we have a couple of information. The most essential information that uh, you should have for ordering and maintenance of the motor so the nameplate is a very important uh, aspect of any machinery over here uh, is the coupling the high voltage cables uh, the size is not so big because we are having high voltage system which reduces the uh, size of the conductor this is uh, directly fed to bow thruster motor and uh, this cage this cage is uh, basically the system which provides for the vacuum circuit breaker of this system and the start stop switches so as I enter over here it has interlock once you open this door the bow thruster motor will trip it will not run so better we stay away from this place and uh, so it has uh, general controls, start stop uh, of bow thruster motor. This little panel is kind of very interesting because uh, this shows you the uh, power of the uh, bow thruster motor. And to get the power, you will have to have power request. So because of the PMS uh, power man management system of the vessel, the bow thruster motor will not start until and unless uh, two generators are running and on load so there is a button called power request if you click on this power request button it will activate the power uh, request system and uh, start another generator automatically it will, it will take it automatically on load and once both the generator are on load 
the bow thruster breaker will cut in interesting isn't it it's a completely automated system you can do it manually as well but uh, usually it is automatic now here we go around and see the another important aspect of the emergency fire pump emergency fire pump is uh, taking suction from a separate sea chest this is the emergency fire pump uh, having self priming system and uh, the red color on top of top cover is uh, for emergency signal it will immediately tell you that it is emergency fire pump b121 ovs the suction line discharge line you can see there is a little filter in the suction line and uh, this is pretty much about the fire pump which can be started from uh, uh, basically three points locally from the bridge and from from the ship's fire control station which is usually on the accommodation deck taking general round of uh, bow thruster room uh, is part of routine because you have to check the bilge alarms uh, so that in case any leakage is there so you can get to know now this is the bow thruster tunnel manhole door very large and uh, for sucking the bilges these are the valves this tunnel extends from port to starboard side as you can see and uh, in dry dock times this uh, manual door is opened and uh, we can just go inside and inspect the condition uh, condition of the gratings condition of the uh, fan the, that is the uh, the propeller so this is uh, this is the uh, basic arrangement uh, which you have in the bow thruster room i hope you found it interesting and uh, I try to cover a few points uh, which are important and if you know something extra you can uh, share the knowledge and uh, sharing is caring while going back always remember to close uh, all the safety latches so I'll pretty much hope that you enjoyed the video and uh, the information was appropriate yeah, and if you like this video uh, like comment share whatever you like so that I will be informed that uh, the video was interesting and I will uh, put in more efforts to bring in more videos for you guys. So you, say, you stay tuned to Seller Success and we are on YouTube, Facebook and Instagram or you can follow wherever you like. Thank you. Bye-bye.